I'm Grant Foley, the owner at Grand River Barber Company. I'm 22 years old. I now live in East Lansing, but I'm from Allen Park. I moved out here about three, four years ago when I was uh, getting my barbering license at, in Lansing. My aunt was a cosmetologist, so I always had my own clippers and stuff, and uh, I was just cutting my own hair, cutting my brother's hair, and then uh, prior to moving out here, I uh, played basketball on a community college team in Saginaw, and I was cutting most of my teammates' hair out there, and uh, that's when I kind of decided to become official with this, so I got my license. Halfway through Barber College, uh, me and my partner that opened up with me, Doug Mordeza, he was finishing before I was, and uh, he was looking for a place to cut for when he got out, and he was able to kind of set it up and, and work the first few months by himself while I was still finishing up school. And as soon as I had my license, I got over here. The whole time I was living out here, it was just obvious that East Lansing needed a barber shop, that they didn't have a place for guys to go and get a haircut, get a fade. Having this place, they know they can come here, and no matter what their hairstyle is, they can come in here and yeah, we'll hook it up for them. These two, Jesse and Wayne, I went to school with them at the Lansing Barber College. Wayne has been here since the beginning. Jesse, I've been trying to get him over here and finally convinced him to come over here and, and work for us. And uh, Spencer, I, I didn't know him prior to working here, but he just came in one day and was looking for a job and we were looking to hire, so it worked out perfect. Me and Doug and uh, his brother is actually like a graphic designer and owns his home printing company. So uh, me and my partner Doug who opened it up, we actually, uh, we kind of threw a few ideas together like with the poles and stuff, but then just threw it to his brother and his brother was kind of able to mold it and make that and we tweaked it a little bit and then finally got it right. I take pride in knowing how to do everything. Any guy that walks through the door, I want to be able to cut his hair and do it exactly how he wants. I want them to look as good as possible, man. And everywhere we go now, it seems like we see someone that we're cutting. So it's kind of like we're responsible for how these kids look in a sense, you know what I mean? And so no, I, I do, and we take it serious. You know, a picture says a thousand words, so we try to show exactly what's going on in here. And uh, our Instagram speaks for itself. You go on there and you see the type of haircuts that we put out. It's just perfect for a, for a barber industry. I can't tell you how many times guys come in and I ask them how they hear about us and they say Instagram or, or Twitter or Facebook. There's no shop like this in town, man. Young guys who know what, what the young guys want and know what they're looking for and, and know how to give it to them. They're all our friends, to be honest. That's, that's how I look at it, man. They're all friends and family, and they help us out by coming in here, so we try to help them out as much as possible and you know, be a part of their lives. And 